In this video, we are going to talk about the difference between the FMN, FAD, NAD, and NADP, right? So before see, I mean, before starting with the difference, let's have a look what is nucleotide. Simply, uh, the nucleotide is made up of what? A nitrogenous base, a sugar, and a phosphate, right? What kind of a nitrogen base do we have? Simply the adenine, adenine, guanine, thymine, brass. Do we have any? Yeah, we have one more that is the riboflavin, right? Riboflavin is basically your nitrogen base. So let's have a look on the structure of this riboflavin. This is the riboflavin structure in which you see the, this is the flavin part. This is the flavin part. This is your nitrogenous base. This is the nitrogenous base, as you can see, have the nitrogen. And this ribitol is basically what? Sugar. This ribitol is a what? Sugar. So this nitrogenous base, this is the sugar. And to this, this, this is your flavin. This is your flavin, a kind of a nitrogenous base. And this is the ribitol. This is the ribitol. So this nitrogenous base, this uh, is a sugar and if you're attaching a phosphate to it so this is a phosphate if you're attaching a phosphate to it so nitrogenous base this is a sugar it will be known as what sugar nitrogenous base plus phosphate this is known as what nucleotide right so flavin mononucleotide i hope this is clear right now let's see what is the flavin adenine dinucleotide simply this is again your flavin, right? Flavin. And this is the rabitol part. Rabitol part. And this is the, your phosphate group, right? This is the phosphate group. So that's why the flavin uh, mononucleotide, that what we have seen in the uh, last, I mean, this uh, last slide, right? So this flavin uh, rabitol and the phosphate. And what is this EMP? This is the adenine. This is the sugar. And this is the phosphate, right? Phosphate. Okay. So adenine for sugar and phosphate, known as what? Adenine monophosphate. Adenine monophosphate. So if you'll join this, if you'll join this both adenine uh, monophosphate as well as the flavin mononucleotide, you will get what? Flavin adenine dinucleotide. C. As you can see in this, uh, this is what? This part, this part. Yeah, this part is basically your. Uh, flavin mononucleotide and this part this which is known as what adenine adenine and this is the sugar and this is the, what phosphate so this is what amp this is what amp so from here till here everything is your amp so amp is being linked with this fmn and this is known as what flavin adenine dinucleotide so this is what one nucleotide, this is one nucleotide, and this is the another nucleotide. So you're joining two nucleotide together, right? So that's why adenine dinucleotide, right? Dinucleotide means you have the two nucleotide in this, in the case of the FAD, right? So let's have a look on the FADH2. What is this FADH2? Simply, if uh, this is your what? This structure which you see is your flavin. This is the ribitol part. Uh, ribitol part and you have a phosphate to it so this is a what phosphate this is the adenine this is the sugar this one this one is the sugar and this, this is a phosphate of what this part okay so this this part this part this part they are collectively known as what amp that what we have seen in the last slide this part flavin uh, ribitol phosphate what the flavin mononucleotide, right? So in this case, if you just, just have a look at this uh, in the flavin, uh, the nitrogenous base, this, this nitrogen, just, uh, just have a look at this nitrogen. If you're attaching a hydrogen to it, if you're attaching a hydrogen to it, this will be what known as the FADH2, right? So you're attaching a, uh, one hydrogen here and one hydrogen here. So that's why FAD will change into what FADH2, right? So this, FAD, FAD in this case is basically the oxidized form, right? Oxidized form. And this FADH2 is basically the reduced form, right? It, this is the reduced form. Okay, fine. Okay, so 
this niacin or the nicotinic acid is basically uh, somehow relevant with the, your NAD kind of a concept. Okay, so this is the niacin or the nicotinic acid, and to this this part, right? To this part, if you are attaching what amide group, right? This is the amide group. So this will be known as what nicotinamide. This is known as what nicotinamide, and this is the structure of what niacin or the nicotinic acid. And if you are attaching the amide to this, this will be known as what nicotinamide, right? So this what is the NAD, nicotinamide adenine dinucleotide, right? So this is a base. This is a sugar. This is a phosphate. And again, this is the AMP, I guess. Yeah, this is the your adenine. This is the adenine. This is the sugar, and this is the phosphate, right? This is the phosphate. Okay. So this thing, the base sugar. What kind of a base is this? Simply the nicotinamide, right? Nicotinamide. So this base, base sugar phosphate is your nucleotide again. Adenine plus sugar plus phosphate is your AMP. Adenine monophosphate. So adenine monophosphate plus your nicotinamide, right? I mean the uh, the nicotinamide, sugar, and the phosphate. So the nicotinamide, nicotinamide plus sugar plus phosphate. This is basically known as what? NAD, this is what uh, nicotinamide adenine dinucleotide. And this thing, this is important to so this uh, nicotinamide, as you can see, this is a plus sign. This plus sign simply means what? This is the oxidized form. So th this plus sign that what you represent in the NAD plus, right? This is the oxidized form. So NAD is the oxidized form, okay? Now, this NAD to this uh, to this NAD, if you are attaching, if you are attaching the hydrogen to it, and the plus sign will be removed, now this will be known as what NADH, right? So this is the reduced form. Please remember this. This is the reduced form, right? So when when the nicotinamide, right, the nitrogen, if you see, this is the nicotinamide, and one uh, hydrogen is getting attached to it, and the plus sign of this uh, nitrogen will be removed. So this will be what the reduced uh, form of what the NADH. Okay. Now, this is the difference of the very basic, the comparative difference between the NAD and the NADH. Uh, and this you will see the plus sign. So that's why the NAD plus and the you are attaching the hydrogen and the, the plus sign will be removed. So the NADH rest, rest, rest of the thing is same as it. Okay. This is what is the difference between the NADP uh, plus and the NAD. See this NADP, NADP plus is that is what it is that what we study in the case of what photosynthesis kind of a reaction. This is what photosynthesis kind of a reaction that we study. And this NAD, this NAD, the both plus sign is representing what the, uh, this, this thing. Um, yeah, this thing, yeah, this, this is what, this thing. That what we have seen in the last slide, right? Uh, to this, in the case of the NAD plus, uh, this is what your adenine, this is the adenine, and this is the sugar. This is the sugar, this is the phosphate, right? And this is the, again, uh, your nicotinamide, nicotinamide. And to this nicotinamide, this is your sugar. And this is the phosphate, this is the phosphate. What is happening into this sugar, to the two prime end, you, instead of have the OH, you have the phosphate group. So that's why the NADP plus means you have the extra phosphate, Right, so that's why the NADP plus. So this NAD, the this this sugar is the normal. I mean, you have the OH group that that the fine. That's why the NAD plus. Okay, so we just have a look to this FAD. This FAD, it basically accept the 2H plus along with the two electron, and it get converted into what FADH2, and to this NAD plus, to this NAD plus, what is going to happen? The H plus plus two electron, and it is going to give you what? NADH plus H plus. Thank you.